Hey guys, it's Adrian and today I have the brand new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra in titanium blue. I also have the S23 Ultra. Now just taking a look at outward appearances, there doesn't seem to be a lot of changes, but the S24 Ultra does pack a lot of meaningful upgrades and that's outside of the AI enhancements. So let's take a closer look at what this offers over the S23 Ultra. So let's take a close up look at the design of the S24 Ultra and it looks very similar to the camera module on the S23 Ultra. We have the camera lens with that silver bezel but the layout is a little bit different because I did try to take the S23 case and put it on here and it didn't line up with the camera module so it is offset by a little bit. Now, if we take a look at the side here, pretty much looks the same. I mean, the button does look a little bit larger to me. Everything else looks about the same, including the camera thickness, how much it protrudes. Then taking a look at the top, we actually have uh, two ports on here instead of just one. I believe that's just for the microphones. Now on the side, pretty much the same. Looking at the bottom of both phones, so you can see the speaker grill has changed on the S24 Ultra. It's a more narrower cutout and it's not actually a speaker grill like on the S23 Ultra. So I'm gonna be curious to hear how music sounds from that. Now taking a look at the S Pen, it actually looks like on the S24 Ultra, it kind of sticks out slightly more than on the S23 Ultra, but you know, it's still very easy to just get access to the S Pen on both phones. So the biggest design change is that it's not as curved when taking a look at the side. And this is also a titanium frame versus aluminum on the S23 Ultra. But if we take a look at the front glass here, and I kind of angle that and you can see it curves or wraps around on the S23 Ultra, but on the S24 Ultra, it's pretty much all flat on here. And this is a look I highly prefer over a curved display. Now, another important thing to note is take a look at that glass. It's way less reflective on the S24 Ultra while the phones are angled in pretty much the same direction. So, you know, it just looks a bit more sleek, um, just, you know, a, a little bit more high tech, more modern with that, you know, blacked out uh, glass look versus the reflections on the S23 Ultra. I'm really liking the flat screen and the anti-reflective coating they have on here. Now, while the camera modules look the same, we do have a change in terms of the 10X optical zoom. So on the S23 Ultra, we had a 10 megapixel 10X optical zoom. However, on the S24 Ultra, we have 5X optical zoom at 50 megapixels. And 5X optical zoom may be a more usable zoom range for a lot of people. And of course, with 50 megapixels to play with, you know, you have a lot of room to crop in to get to that 10X zoom. Okay, so I have the S24 Ultra on the right, S23 Ultra on the left. And I have to say the photos on the S23 Ultra look way better than on the S24 Ultra for me because they're a bit more saturated, more vivid looking. On the S24 Ultra, I find it to be a bit muted. And you could see again in the keyboard. Now I'm looking at the keyboard here and the S23 Ultra seems a little bit more true to life than on the S24 Ultra. If we take a look at this photo here, um, maybe a slight edge to the S24 Ultra here. I could see, you know, the colors are a bit more saturated here than on the S23. And then here's another photo and it looks a little bit better on the S24. So I guess, you know, they're trading blows in some of these photos and it's really gonna come down to personal preference anyway. Another thing I wanna point out is that on launch, the S23 Ultra, we had, you know, the ultra wide, wide, 3X and 10X on here. And then later they gave us a 2X zoom, which I made a video about, I'll link that as well. Now on the S24 Ultra, we do have the ultra wide, the wide um, 3X, 5X, and then we have 10X. And I really hope they do give us the 2X like they did on the S23 Ultra because I actually did find myself using that quite a bit. One edge that the S24 Ultra has over the S23 Ultra is you can see I have 4K 60 frames per second. I'm gonna start our recording and I can actually switch between the different type of lenses on here without any issue and recording still occurs. However, if I try to do the same thing on the S23 Ultra, you can see I'm just capped at 1X. Maybe this is not that big of a deal for you. By the way, pay attention again to the reflections going on there you know, compared to on the S24 Ultra. Um, they've really done an amazing job on that reflective coating. Um, yeah, it's kind of night and day. To demonstrate just how good the 10X digital zoom is on the S24 Ultra, I took a photo of this neural detailed area on the crown and at the side here. So on the left, we have the S23 Ultra. This is the 10X optical zoom, 10 megapixels. I'm just gonna zoom in on the crown here and you can see, I can see dust on the corners here and a you know fairly large dust strand or cloth fiber there. Now, if I take a look at the S24 Ultra, 
Keep in mind, this is 10x digital zoom based on the 50 megapixel photo. Now, if I zoom in to roughly the same amount or the same size on the crown, take a look at that fiber strand uh, on the S24 Ultra compared to the S23 Ultra. It's way more clear, way more defined, way more detailed. So they've done an amazing job. So I'm actually not you know, really mourning the loss of the 10X optical on the S24 Ultra. They've done a really good job. And of course, here is the 5X uh, optical zoom on the S24 Ultra. But yeah, no real loss, you know, losing the 10X on the S23 Ultra. Very capable on the S24 Ultra. I'm now gonna put the S24 Ultra through a pretty challenging test. So I'm gonna start the stopwatch and you could see there's actually two hands there and they're moving so fast you can't really tell. Now I'm just gonna let that go and I'm gonna take a video with the S24 Ultra 4K 60 frames per second. I'm gonna let that go for a little bit and then I'm gonna use this AI generative frame feature that they have. So let's just let that go for about 10 seconds. I'm gonna stop it right there. So I'm just gonna review this video. I'm gonna tap on the pencil icon and I'm gonna to go to adjust speed and I'm gonna put this at 1.8 speed and let's play that and see exactly how it handles it. And you can see the hands have now slowed down dramatically. You can actually see, you know, the two different hands, the white one and the blue one. And then once we get out of that area into the regular speed, let's just go into that. You can see just how fast that is. It's hard to make out that there's two hands. So yeah, this generative and adjustment speed feature works really well on here. By the way, if you're finding this review helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, but let's get back to it. The screen on the S24 Ultra also caps out at 2600 nits compared to 1750 on the S23 Ultra. And if I just go and I take a look at this image, so you can see pretty much they're at the same brightness level just before the max. I'll increase that to the highest that we can go. And yeah, it's definitely brighter on the S24 Ultra just looking at this in person. I'm just gonna demo how quickly the circle to search feature works. So I'm gonna press the home button here, circle that, and very quickly it found my TikTok video and YouTube and I can just tap right into it and jump to the YouTube video, super effortless. Here's a demo of the live interpreter feature. I don't have someone to speak Mandarin, so here's my big brain move. I took a bus in two days. So it caught, I took a bus in two days. And if I take a look at what she said, she said the next day I took a boat or bus to go look for her female cousin. So it's not an exact translation. It's not super accurate, but it's enough to get you through the way. Now, once I stop talking. So he caught me in two days. I took a bus in two days. So you can hear it listened, and then once I paused it, then it translated it. Once I started speaking, it translated it. So, you know, someone can tell me if this is, you know, accurate enough, obviously from here to here, not super accurate, but enough to get the gist of what's going on. I'll have to test this a little bit more. The S23 Ultra at max volume, and same with the S24. Let's hear what it sounds like and what it registers. Hey guys, it's Adrian. Today I wanted to share 10 tips that I use with all my Samsung devices to make the most out of them. Hey guys, it's Adrian. Today I wanted to share 10 tips that I use with all my Samsung devices to make the most out of them. Now in this video I'm running... So both speakers sound awesome. It doesn't really matter that this is now kind of a full cutout versus a grill. They both sound very loud and really good. Casting to Chromecast enabled devices is also easier. So you can see if we go into Smart View and we go into Settings, on both phones and into labs, we now have an option for Chromecast support on the S24 Ultra, which we don't have on the S23 Ultra. The noticeable spec changes are that the S24 Ultra has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip on the S23 Ultra. We also have an Adreno 750 GPU on the S24 Ultra compared to the Adreno 740 on the S23 Ultra. There's Gorilla Glass Armor on the S24 Ultra compared to the Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the S23 Ultra. So the screen is definitely stronger on the S24 Ultra and it also looks better because you know there's less reflection going on and it's just a brighter screen overall. So for some of you that may already be worth the upgrade if you spend a lot of time outdoors 
in direct sunlight. So let me know what you guys think of the Samsung S24 Ultra and if you're gonna be upgrading from your S23 Ultra or if it just doesn't offer enough. For me, it does offer enough. You know, the AI circle to search feature is really good. It works quickly enough and brings up enough relevant results. But even if I wasn't considering that since I do believe this is gonna actually come to the S23 Ultra, there's a lot of design changes and elements that I really like on here. So, you know, I've never been a fan of the curved screen. And this, you know, all flat screen is really something that I enjoy. It's just a better hand feel for me. Even though ergonomically it may not be, I just like the look and feel of it. The other thing is the anti-reflective screen. You know, it just makes the phone look a little bit more premium on the always on display versus this really reflective screen on the S23 Ultra. Obviously, you know, this is not enough of a reason to just upgrade alone. But if you care about these little details, um, it's definitely worth considering. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the S24 Ultra down below. And what do you think of this titanium blue color? I mean, it looked better on the website in person. I'm not too sure about it. I think I should have gotten the violet and I actually did wish they had, you know, something kind of closer to this, like an off white. And stay tuned for more S24 Ultra content. I'm gonna have more in the coming days and weeks. And I am also gonna be comparing it against the Z Fold 5. And I have a big favor to ask. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. It truly does help me out as a growing channel, but I'll see you in the next one soon.